I'm not even gonna sit here and cat with y'all. Working in the club is like a hit or miss. Giving out my number. The wildest thing I seen in the club was. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose. channel if you are new here welcome and as y'all can tell by the title today i'm going to be telling y'all about my experience as being a shot girl slash bottle girl i used to work in the script club i was not no scripter i was a shot girl in the script club y'all probably like what is a shot girl a shot girl i was literally just passing out shots like I wasn't doing those sections. I wasn't, you know, taking people no bottles, none of that. I was literally making my own shots, walking around with my tray, selling shots. Like, yeah. So, um, let's just get straight into this video. Cause yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna give y'all a rundown of why I stopped working in that industry and just give y'all some tips of you know how to become a shot girl or a bottle girl i wrote down some notes on my phone to go off so yeah let's start off about how i got into working in the industry so my cousin cousin was actually working at the club and she was actually finna leave the club and she made a post on twitter so I wrote her and was like, hey, uh, I want to start being a bottle girl. How do I, you know, get in in that club? Like, she was like, oh, okay, I'm going to leave so you can just take my position. Just come up to the club Sunday. We have an Insta party, so we're white. I had to went to the mall, got everything I needed, and I went up there Sunday. Y'all, I didn't have to talk to the manager. I didn't have to apply. I literally just walked in the club with her and started working. Okay, so the pros of being a shot girl slash bottle girl, um, you making good money. You can network, you can meet new like upcoming artists because well the club I was working at, they really didn't let people come in they didn't let artists come in there and perform like on stage like other clubs do, but some artists came in, you know, little upcoming artists. They wasn't, you know, no big old celebrity, but they was upcoming artists in the city. And you can network with them. Like, you can network by just knowing how to talk and run game on people. Like, you're going to learn a lot from working in the club. Like, I feel like I learned a lot from working in the club. Like, I learned a lot. I'm not going to cap. But, um,. Yeah, pros, you can just be cute, like, dress up your uniform, get your hair done probably every two weeks, your makeup done, um, you know, build a bond with the girls that work there, like, yeah. The cons, I would say, the disrespect, you can need to learn how to, like, handle situations because some of, some of them scriptures, they really gonna try you, like. Who do, like they really gonna try you like on petty shit like just petty shit petty dumb shit but yeah you need to learn how to stand up and let them hoes know hey I'm not the one cause yeah but yeah learn how don't let nobody disrespect you not no scripper not no customer nobody yeah um Another con, dudes be feeling like they're obligated to fail on you because you work in a script club, you're showing a little boob, you're showing a little, um, you know, ass, but let them know, hey, I'm not no stripper, you can't be touching on me like that. Like, you can say it in a nice way, because I used to, like, ease their hand up off me, like, I'm not no stripper, you can't touch on me like that. Like, smiling, but I'm dead serious, you can't touch on me like that. Hey, you yeah, like. Just that. Um, making money. So y'all, 
working in the club is like a hit and miss. My first night, I made about $400, $500 on my first night. And it, I feel like it was only because they're like, oh, this new. Oh, she new. She, we ain't never seen her before. Like, new fish, basically. Like, and then you're pretty. They're like, oh, yeah, she really fine. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to buy a shot just because. But, like, I feel like after a while, like, it was a small club. So, it's, like, basically the same, same customers in and out. So, I feel like they were, like, after a while, they, like, this man yeah, I done seen her before she ain't even like she gonna play with me she ain't really like gonna give me a chance none of that shit like that like they feel like after they see you so many times they don't gotta buy a shot no more I guess like they were like you just I just seen you last week like so what it's a whole new today buy another shot buy me another shot yeah and like me being a shot girl I used to have to take some of the shots myself so my cousin, she used to be like, fill some of them up with juice because they're going to make you want to take the shots. Because it wasn't shots like Hennessy, Patron, Casamigos. It was like, you go in the back, you make your own shots. And the type of liquor they had back there for us to make shots, it wasn't no top of the class. It was at the bottom. Like, nobody don't want them shots. But they was, they was kind of straight shots. Like, I made some straight shots. I made some good, good shots. Like... But some of them, I'll fill them up with juice, and then the other ones, they'll be filled with liquor, like, just in case somebody really want a shot. But if you're making me take a shot, I'm drinking juice. So, yeah. That's one thing. Like, the money is a hit and miss. Like, some nights I used to make, let me see, like, one night I probably made about $30. Like, that ain't nothing. I could stay home for that. Like, it be slow nights. Some nights be good, it be slow nights, but them slow nights you gotta you gotta work for that money because I used to have to go and talk to a customer for like thirty to forty five minutes just for them to buy me about five shots. Like I'm just sitting there having a conversation with them. They be like, You want a shot? I'm like, Yeah, you want my man a shot, I'ma take it. Like, yeah, just sitting there. Like he don't want the shot, so he's gonna buy me a shot because he already drinking. So he gonna buy me the shot and I'm gonna drink it. But it's gonna be juice. Or if I wanted to get a little tipsy, I'd take a real shot. That's just that. But um Okay. Giving out my number. I'm not even gonna sit here and cat with y'all. I used to give them my number. Like, because they're gonna call you right then. They're gonna text it right then. And they're gonna be like, why you why you why you showing on green? And if they call, they're going to be like, why they say this number don't work? Like, I'm not finna give these people no fake number. Never responded, never text back, or either blocked them. So, like, my face can stay clean because that's how I used to make my money, like, going along with it. Like, that's why your money come in at. You got to flirt. You got to be friendly. You got to sell them a dream. Like, yeah, yeah, we can go on a date. Yeah, we can go on a date. Never even seen no people outside of work. Like, that's just that. So, yes, I used to get them my number. Um... I never responded though. Like when they see me in the club again, I used to be like, oh well, I was drunk. I don't really, or I was busy, or like I didn't see, like I don't, I didn't see the messages or something like something like that. Like I don't, know. they probably cared, but they still bought a shot the next time. So hey, worked in my favor. But um yeah, the wildest thing I've seen in the club. The wildest thing I seen in the club was a girl doing coke, y'all. Like, I literally walked in the bathroom, and she was in there like this. And then she seen me, so she had laughed. She had laughed. Y'all, I walked out. I'm like, is my eyes playing tricks on me? But nah, that shit was true. Like, she was really in there doing that. And then... It's so shocking to me because I'm like, her, the girl who was doing it, I was like, her? Like, I couldn't believe it was her that was doing it. Like, that's what probably shocked me the most. But, yeah, like, I done seen somebody get fucked in VIP. Like, they had, like, a kid out of the club because they already told her, don't be in there doing that. And you still went in there and did that. Like, girl. But, yeah, 
tricking, fighting. I don't see you know, I don't see it all in the club, y'all. Like it goes down. Um farting. You gotta flirt with these people a little bit. Like you gotta flirt. Like you gotta sell them a dream. Like that's gonna that's how you're gonna make your money. Like you can't be no mean girl, you can't be stiff, you can't be bougie. I mean it's okay to, you know, act hard to get so they be like, Oh yeah, I'm really fucking with her. like she ain't like these other she ain't like these other girls like easy to get like type shit. Like it's okay to act like that but you can't be no mean girl for real like you gotta flirt a little bit and be like, nah, you can't you can't touch me like that. You can't get my number like that. Like shit like that. Like act like hard to get like don't just be no easy girl. Like they don't like Tuh. This is so easy. Like, I ain't got to buy no shots for her. I ain't got to, you know, spend no money with her. I'm going to get her regardless, like, type shit. Like, just know how to flirt and, you know, it don't be too much, like, on, like, on them. Like, just relax. Like, if you're cute, the money's going to come. Like, you're cute. They're going to buy the shots. They're going to, you know, spend the money on you. Like, you're cute. That's what they're in the club for. But yeah, um, being shy, y'all, I used to be shy, like, when I first started, I used to be shy, like, I was scared to walk around and ask people, you want a shot, cause, like, I, I used to be scared to hear no, like, I don't like being told no, like, if I ask you, do you want a shot, I'm, I want you to say yes, like, if you say no, I'm like, huh, like, what, like, I don't know, I just use, like, that's just embarrassing for me, like, I don't know, but I had to realize, hey, this is my job. I ain't nothing to be weird about if they don't want to shy. But, yeah, if they don't want to shy, I just used to, like, you got to, like, talk to them for a little bit. They going to buy a shot because they be like, please get out of my face. They don't, like, they going to want you to get out of their face, really. So just talk to them for a little bit, like, sweet talk them, like, why you don't want to shy? Well, what you drinking? Like, type shit, like, just move your way into them, buy your shot, like. Buy your shot or buy number shot. Either way. Buy you a shot, buy me a shot. Either way. Like you know. Having a boyfriend and working in the club. Y'all. It's like your boyfriend just has to know like I'm just here to make money. I ain't trying to do nothing else. Like it ain't none of that. Like I'm just here to get my money. And if he can't understand that then maybe y'all just don't need to be together because Obviously, you need the money, and he can't provide it either, so what's up? Like, you either going to be okay with me in here making my money, or are you going to give me the lifestyle that I'm trying to live? Like, what's up? Like, either way, yeah, but having a boyfriend and working in a club, it can work. Just, y'all just got to be on, like, a good understanding of, like, it's just for the money. It ain't for nothing else. I ain't trying to get no niggas. I ain't trying to do none of that. I'm just trying to come here, make my money, and go home. Like, yeah. But, yeah, like, um, yeah, I just got to communicate with each other. I mean, it can work. It can. Yeah, it can. But, yeah, don't, you can't have no insecure boyfriend because that shit's not going to work. Like, he going to be coming in the club trying to see what you doing like messing up your play like you over here trying to get get this dude to you know spend some money he see you over here a little flirting now he mad now he over here trying to fight the, like it's gonna be too much y'all like it's gonna be too much i promise you i don't think i don't cover about everything like you want to work in the club just look cute you know show your body like have your hair done have your makeup done well you don't really gotta have your makeup done just have on some lashes like so your face can pop at least and just go to clubs like just go to clubs during the daytime because it ain't really nothing happening in the daytime so you got time to like talk to the managers and just ask them like are y'all hiring like what's the process like what i gotta do and yeah that's pretty much it like I'm thinking about going back to the club myself because the money was the money was good, y'all. Like the money was good. Like I loved it. That was some good fast money, and I you know I have the script for it. But yeah, that was some good money. 
Like, I used to make like 400, 500. And it used to be nice. I used to make $20, $80. Like, it used to be slow nights. Like, it ain't always good and it ain't always bad. Like, yeah. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. If y'all got some questions, if you feel like I missed something, please let me know. I will answer it for you. Like, let me know. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. So yeah, see y'all next time.